Welcome to the Sales Acceleration Show. My name is Michael Humlet and I'm the founder of Chaomatic. And in this show, we talk about everything that can scale your business. In essence, that can scale your revenues, grow faster. And today we have a bit of a very special guest. We always have special guests, but this one is very special because I got to know her via Instagram. And I was watching the Instagram feed of Geraldine and I thought it like, it's very soft, you know, it's very pinkish and you know, lots of things. And I'm thinking, why are you talking about r uh, peace and calm and all of these things? And then I looked at how your Instagram was evolving and I thought, it's working. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. So before yeah. we go there, maybe you explain <laughs> to our viewers what you do. Hello, Michael. Thank you for the invitation. Pleasure is mine. Uh, I'm Geraldine from MB Iconic. So I'm a corporate events manager and mm -hmm. a social media coach. Mm -hmm. And yes, I use um, Instagram on a daily basis because it's a really good to exposure yourself as a personal brand. So fully agree on the personal brand. Yes. So maybe let's dive into that before we go events because I think they're mm -hmm. connected because you yes, actually get link. your business through events. So, mm -hmm. so maybe let's stop on personal brand because we didn't have a real expert on personal brand in this show yet. Mm -hmm. So I'm very curious. So. How did it start? Let's let's start with the beginning because I, I've seen you post a lot. One of the big yes, questions on a daily yeah. on a daily basis. All my clients yes. always ask me, "How on earth do you get content to post so much?" Let's start with some yeah, basics. Um, well, I think it's important to know your target audience, yeah. and then from there, what are their struggles? Mm -hmm. And so, so you have a real clear vision in mind. I'm talking. Yes, for me it's um, a lot of uh, female startup yeah. uh, entrepreneurs, okay. and they are dealing with uh, time management or uh, burnout it's a very sometimes. Very specific uh, female yes. startup. That's an interesting. Yes, one. Yeah. Instagram is also quite a more feminine vibe, I will yeah. say. For yeah, yeah. Feminine energy. That's why a lot of hearts and a lot of these. Yes, uh, yeah, yeah, because yeah. it's also about uh, aesthetic and yeah. uh, uh, nice True. pictures. True, because I've yeah. seen that you spend time on very nice pictures. Yep. Because I got to learn with the show, we had to make nice pictures and all yep. that. And <laughs> like, yeah. But then actually with Instagram, it's, and yeah. then I see these really nice compositions. Yes. And I think, well, look at that. Yeah, because but it's a lot of time. In no? three, five seconds, someone see, is this interesting? And what's the vibe of uh, So how do you account? balance between the stories mm -hmm. and the, the feed, actually? Okay, there are apps yeah. <laughs> where you can all already preview your pictures yeah. and your feed. And uh, so I know already on beforehand which next picture will come uh, so tomorrow. You, and you do it in a, like batch production because I believe in production. Yeah. So you're basically saying I'm going to do this and I set up a week up front. So what, what would be yes, the advice? Because about my, one week, yeah. My, my struggle is I'm, I'm then during the dating, oh, I need to do this. And I know yes, it's not I know. the right way. Yeah, no, I prepare my social media content on Sunday. On Sun Sunday. Sunday afternoon, yes. So you, you use like a canva.com or something and you just produce all the pictures get it already uh, mm, yeah canva i use another app like uh, unum or yeah. um you have also preview or yeah. plan or schedulegram you have yeah. different apps to already preview the pictures so uh, sunday on you set everything up and then the stories you do that during the week the during the day yes all the time <laughs> so or uh, no not all the time but i know already uh what are which events are uh, taking place or meetings and like, for instance, January is for me the networking month. Yeah. So I will talk about networking. I will talk a lot about uh, networking. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And now I realize and why I you're so much events because you organize events. Good God. I'm such an idiot, <laughs> such an idiot sometimes. <laughs> okay. So, and that actually brings business Instagram for you? Uh, or is it more LinkedIn? More or because you, you I'm, yes. I'm guessing you're balancing them all out. And, and, and Yes, I'm really uh, a fan of LinkedIn and mm -hmm. Instagram. On Instagram, I get a lot of collaboration mm -hmm. uh, questions and also questions to give Instagram workshops or Instagram training. Yeah, of course. And on yeah. LinkedIn, it's more, um, it's different type of connection. Mm -hmm. I would say it's um, more formal, a more formal way to connect with mm -hmm. new contacts. And I get more event requests yeah. on LinkedIn. So you also focus yeah. a bit your information yes. in a different way. Yeah. How much do you post on LinkedIn? Because I scaled mine um, one post a week, yeah. which was ridiculous. I mean, it mm -hmm. went really fast. Mm -hmm. And But on Instagram, it's I'm struggling. Yeah. So. Yes, I know. 
You know, you've uh, watched, you said before the show actually happened, she said to me, Michael, yes. I might have some tips for your Instagram. I'm like, well, bring it on, right? Yes. <laughs> What I suggest is uh, really to use hashtags. It's so important on Instagram. Yeah. And you can use up to 30 hashtags. But that's in the in the feed, right? In the caption or the copy you're writing yeah. uh, with, with your picture. Mm -hmm. uh, it's really important to research your hashtags and not Give me use a tool. Tell me a tool. I'm a tool guy. Oh, it's uh, <laughs> just searching, really? search on tags on Instagram and then you, you will also But get suggestions of other The hashtags. hard part I find with this whole hashtagging thing yeah. and, and I, I think, I mean, you have very similar when you look at keywords and, and, and Google and SEO optimization and all that is that in a lot of cases when I'm on Instagram, for instance, I do sales and marketing type of content. Mm -hmm. People are not looking for the word sales advice or sales strategy or stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Where on LinkedIn, they are actually really aimed for that. YouTube, yep. people type in, how do I set up my SaaS company and mm -hmm. that kind of stuff. So in my way, that's for me an e way easier. But the moment I go with real B2B yep. to Instagram, I feel that very quickly I slide off into the motivational mm -hmm. stuff. Yes. Motivational, inspirational, and then you look at the Gary V's of the world and these guys and it's yeah. all like quoting and cool and yeah uh, but i'm not like that i'm I, mm -hmm. i'm thinking yeah okay well so maybe tell find me, more tell me what to do more uh niche hashtags niche. and not only the generic hashtags okay so not yes. pick of the day <laughs> <laughs> like a million people <laughs> beauty <laughs> yeah okay and yeah, maybe also in dutch because your clients are also in belgium yes yeah that's a so very difficult topic it's the whole language yeah. thing where yes, we I do the show in english yeah where i sometimes think if i would do it in in, in flemish it probably would have or in dutch it would have probably scaled way faster yes because in english suddenly you're fighting the big guys where if i niche you don't have that on the other hand mm -hmm. speaking english allows me to invite a lot more guests yes. It's a tough one. I have many yes. customers that ask me, so Michael, what uh -huh. language do we start or do we build the landing page or where do we go with the communication? Mm -hmm. Who is your target audience? Yeah. That's the, yeah, but the main you have question. Multiple, you have a problem. Yeah, then, then you have to yeah. Yeah. use different languages. So let's, let's quickly yeah. jump to events. Mm -hmm. So you organize events for large S corporate, small? Yeah, and the small, medium enterprises. And uh, what type of events? Is, is, it, is there a specific niche that you say, I'm really good in this. I can get it full or... or uh, not really a niche, yeah. but I prefer to work with small, medium enterprises because there is more a connection with the clients mm -hmm. and they are struggling with uh, time, know-how and resources. Yeah. And you, you do the facilitation mm -hmm. of the event. Yes. Also the concept. Also the concepts. All the concepts. And then the whole organization and coordination on site. So there can the be events. speakers, everything yes. around, around. Yeah. Okay, so because I, I, I do my own events a lot mm -hmm. and I also help customers. And at a certain stage, I still, if you look at the value you offer, the community part is very high up the chain, getting the people in the room, connecting them. And I mm -hmm. see them all struggling. Like, yeah, yeah, we should do an event and we, we're mm -hmm. going to do this event and we're going to talk about ourselves. And I go, no, no, no it's not going to work. You need somebody else because they don't trust you yet. You need to get in somebody else that speaks on a stage and does all that. Mm -hmm. So wha what's your advice? You have some like, okay, you want to think events, mm -hmm. think go there. That's what you do. That's how, how things work best. What would be your advice? I didn't get your question. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. <taking> <laughs> so <coughs> what would be your advice if I want to yeah. organize an event? to get as much people in the event? What would be the okay, trick, if there is community. a trick? Okay, um, Okay, promote your event already through social media. Mm -hmm. You can. But most companies do not have a strong media, social media presence. You um, have. Yeah, But because they don't know how no. to, to voilà. use social media and mm -hmm. they're already... And do you mean tricks. paid? Paid advertisements, uh, yes, but also create event hashtag, for instance. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, That can already help yeah. also create banners to put on your Facebook page and say, yeah. okay, now we are organizing an event. Mm -hmm. You have a button on Facebook, uh, like contact me, but you can say, book your tickets here. Mm -hmm. uh, create an event on Facebook. Um, if you have you speakers, said push it out, get it out. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Also create visuals for your speakers yeah. so they can share it on their social media channels. Yeah, I like this. 
Yes. Removal friction kind of ideas. But it's work yes. up front. Huh? A lot of people yes. don't want to do the work where I'm saying, well, but they make life easy for the other side. And yeah, or they forget maybe. Yeah. And yeah. speakers actually have large networks yes. and they're happy to share because, of course, they want it to be success and they want yeah. to be seen as the guy or the girl on stage again. Mm -hmm. Okay. From, from, um, from location, do you have some? Because I've seen a lot of locations now. Is there some guidance there where you say think about that type of room? Mm, it depends all uh, about the type of your event. Yeah. What's the goal of the event? Mm -hmm. What do you want? Why are you organizing an event? Mm -hmm. Is it to to inform or to motivate people mm -hmm. or to sell? Mm -hmm. uh, and then who is your target audience and what's the style of your event? Mm -hmm. So there are different. Um, factors to define the venue, to choose a venue. Yeah. Let me ask you a tough one because they keep asking me and I'm, I'm still fighting with that one. Yes. What's the <laughs> best format? And I understand you're going to say the... So let's imagine you have a B2B crowd, pretty tough crowd, execs. Half a day or a day mm -hmm. format, I find it's a very difficult one. Mm. Because I, if they I like take... Uh, yeah, they don't have much time. Yeah, they yeah. never have time, but you yeah. have to take them out, but they have to get there and it's a tough one. Yeah, I prefer the half day then. Morning or afternoon? Hmm. Um, my feeling is more afternoon, then they can still decide in the evening if they stay or not. But the networking part is so important. Yeah. I think so they, want to they like try to and stay. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. also think talking to other people is actually the key. Mm -hmm. to the event and basically mm -hmm. whatever speaking is facilitated because most people know that sp the speakers are not always I mean uh, I speak a lot on events mm -hmm. and yes. a lot of events I'm basically no. thinking good God <sighs> but maybe I get bored quickly <laughs> which is another <laughs> another topic right yeah mm -hmm. so so you do your own events now you start going there I mean if I look at your business because I yes. think it's very intriguing this whole Instagram as I said in the beginning oh, so yeah. <laughs> where are you aiming the gun now you, you how are you gonna build up the empire if at all um, you want to build up the empire because some people don't want to go there mm -hmm. right? yes I will grow further I want to grow further with my business yeah. and uh, create a theme around uh, me mm -hmm. I I want to collaborate with like-minded people, so mm -hmm. really co-create. Yeah, uh, that's yep. for me important. Co-creations with like-minded people, mm -hmm. sharing the same uh, values, um, philosophy. As in, you help them, they help you. You kind of yeah. do things together yeah. and scale. Yeah, that way. that's really yeah. very strong, very powerful. I, you see really see a trend at the moment where uh -huh. we have like true experts that kind of came bottom up, not the top down guys. The typical, mm -hmm. I write a book and then suddenly you're at the start. No, it's the bottom up. They've been fighting, mm -hmm. doing the real things. And then you see them starting to co-create with other people. So yeah. I, I do think that's going to be... Yeah, that's it, the future. It, that's the future. Yes. So we'll have more events coming on, these cooperation events yes. and, <laughs> and the workshops and all of that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very, very interesting. So every mm -hmm. guest, I ask some tough questions at the end mm -hmm. to try yeah. and see... What they're worth? No, not really. <laughs> we just try and figure out. So because one of the things that I've seen in your storyline, which I, I think is very intriguing, is there's so much stuff coming on. And when you just sat down and said, don't forget to put your phone on mobile, you said to me, yeah, because I have to do it because so much coming. So how do you focus? How do you bring focus? Okay, to for me, focus is about uh, time management. Yeah. So um, I will really, I want to keep control over my agenda. Mm -hmm. And I like to have a helicopter view. And on Sunday afternoon, I will check out my agenda for the coming week and the week after. Mm -hmm. And then I will uh, really define the priorities. Yeah. What is important this week to do is tasks. And then I will maybe reschedule some meetings. Mm -hmm. And then one when I want to focus, so I say uh, no distractions, <laughs> no notifications. So, so yeah. Yes, so I say to myself, now focus, really <laughs> I talk to my mind. Yeah. The trap I fall sometimes yeah. into is, especially when it gets busy, mm -hmm. really, really busy and everything is moving, then I, I, I see that I, I, I make myself nervous. I still need to mm -hmm. do that. And I kind of, it's like my brain gets me into this. I need to do this. I need mm -hmm. to do it. And I'm thinking, why am I making myself nervous? Mm -hmm. It's very difficult to, to pull out and say, yeah. stop. So I'm a strong believer to in doing that, mm -hmm. breathing. Mm -hmm. But... It's, it's, I think it's in your nature to, you want to help. And that's where the problem starts. 
Mm-hmm. I think if I wouldn't care, it would have been 10 mm-hmm. times easier. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I think that's yeah. the problem. Huh? Mm-hmm. Okay, so how do you say no yes. to the thing? So if you don't want to do something, because yeah. most sales guys we, we meet, they, they are very bad in saying no. They'll find excuses. And this, but how do you mm-hmm. do that then? Saying no is um, setting your boundaries. It's also about self-respect. Mm-hmm. And you don't need always to immediately give an answer mm-hmm. to say yes or no. Sometimes you can ask for some time yeah. and then to check in by yourself. How does it feel for me? Mm-hmm. For me, it's very really important So your important key is always, how do I feel with this yes, thing? Yes, yes. And really to listen to your gut feeling. Yeah. And then you... Yeah. Uh, and then I make a decision. And, then I and say you tell yes them, no. even if it's negative, you say, I'm not going to yes. do it because... You don't always need I to give a reason. It. Yeah. But sometimes I can say, okay, it doesn't feel well. Yeah. But I will always check in my network if I can suggest someone else. That's a good one. Yeah. I really like that one. Yeah. So where do you get your inspiration? Oh, uh, I love to read books. Mm-hmm. Uh, I love um, Michael Pilarczyk in the Netherlands. Yeah. Ilko de Boer, yeah. also from the Netherlands. Uh, Gary V, Tony Robbins. Yeah. And then... And I'm sure you love all the funneling they do. Because <laughs> 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 when I look at them, starting, mm. so at the end of the day, they're, they're really good at it. I mean, yes. they also give a lot of quality and value. No discussion. That's really important. But the technique around yes. sometimes is really, yes. really interesting. And yes. I do believe B2B sales and marketing is actually mm-hmm. moving to B2B to C. Because you see the people within mm-hmm. companies following you and it's them telling their boss, if we mm-hmm. do an event, we need to get to Geraldine. Yeah. I believe in that that mechanism. I think it's going to get yeah. to even more scale in mm-hmm. the next uh, next coming years. Yeah. So, my friends, you need to build <laughs> your personal brand. Okay, so, mm-hmm. what's the biggest mistake you've done up till now? Where you say, I'm never going to do that again. Oh, um, just to wait for projects. Wait. <laughs> I think, okay, it will uh, be all right. If you wait no. long enough, something will happen, right? <laughs> Yeah, but you have to keep the ball rolling. Yeah. So be proactive be and proactive. Uh, keep your eyes and ears open. Yeah. And network, network yeah. uh, online and offline. All the time. Yes. Yes, you, you need to be in action. Yeah. And not just sit sit back and uh, think, uh, yeah. okay. Yeah, so <laughs> keep, keep the movement. Yes. Yeah, I tell it to a lot of people who are stuck. Sometimes mm-hmm. people get stuck. Yes. And then uh, you see that when, when I enter companies, they've been doing something for a while and then you meet the executives and you, mm-hmm. I sometimes really say, okay, st- stop what you're doing now. Take a day, like breathe and mm-hmm. then start moving. So one of the tricks I sometimes do is I, I'll uh-huh. go and do some sport, something I've never done before, mm-hmm. because just a physical different thing makes me think it's differently. It's really important. Yes. But it's tough to, when you're in the trenches, you're fighting all day. It's yes, really it's tough to, to, to take the distance yeah. and to see from the sideline. Yeah, I think yeah. it's really, really yeah. important. Mm-hmm. Yeah, would have been cool if that's your job actually the whole day long. <laughs> 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 okay, so um, thanks, thanks a lot for coming to the show. I'm going to absolutely keep checking that Instagram and yeah. get my hashtags properly and I'm pretty sure after the show she's <laughs> going to give me some more advice that yes. you cannot <laughs> listen to. So, uh, thanks, Geraldine, a lot for coming yeah, to the show. Thank you. If you thank love you. what you've seen, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for a lot more coming, and I'll catch you on social. <laughs>